Hello and welcome back to Present Simple in the Professional English 1. We are going to deal with the verb to be uh, in the affirmative negative interrogative form. And we are going to work with yes no questions or simple questions and information questions or uh, questions with uh, interrogative words. And we are going to do the same with modal verbs. The verb to be sometimes is considered to be one of the most complex verbs in the present simple because it has three forms uh, comparing to other verbs that will have two or the modal with that will have one, just one. Okay, let's see some examples. She is at home in the morning. We have the subject, she, the verb is, we have at home in the morning as the complement or with, uh, as some people call the object. In the second example, we have I as the subject, am is the verb, and the complement object is always very tired on Monday afternoons. The present symbol is con constructed using the subject, in this case I, and am for the first person singular. Uh, the R form goes with you, we, and they. You is singular and plural at the same time, as you know. And we have a third form is that go with he, she, or it. I am near the window is one example. You, we, they are in a classroom. He, she, or it is from Egypt are all three examples of the present symbol in the affirmative in grammar form. I am not is the formal form in the negative. We need to add just not to the verb. I'm not is the informal. You with they are not or aren't or como, uh, uh, as in, in, in England is said aren't. Okay, and is for he, she or it with not. Is not, isn't. Some examples are, I am not from Japan, or I am not from Japan. You with they are not from Japan, aren't from Japan. He, she, it is not in Lima, or isn't in Lima. Okay. For interrogative forms, the verb to be goes before the subject. In this case, the first person is is, the first person is is, am. And am I from Japan? Are you with they from Japan? Is he, she, or it in Lima? Okay, remember the verb to be precedes the subject. For information questions, simple information questions, we have the question word, the verb, and the subject in a very similar way to the uh, simple question. Where am I? Why are you, we, or they? And how often is he, she, or it? Some examples are, where am I now? Why are you, we, or they so tired? And how often is he, she, or it in Egypt a year? Okay? So remember the question word where, why, and how in this examples. The verb is am, are, or is according to the person and the subject, the corresponding subject, and the complement that completes the information that is given in the sentence, in the um, interrogative sentence. Let's do some examples. Millet, Millet is the third form, is the third, sorry, singular person in the uh, in the corresponding form, yeah, and the corresponding form is is. We is plural, and the corresponding form is are. Okay, so Millet singular with is, we plural with are. Let's move on. Sally and Tom is also plural, and the, the plural form is C, Sally and Tom are at home on Wednesdays. Sally's friends is also plural because the sentence 
refers here to friends rather than to Sally's. In the sentence, friend, friends is the main topic rather than Sally's. So, the form is also are. My father usually, my father is the third person singular. So we have is. My father usually is at home at eight o'clock in the morning. My girlfriend's brothers, brothers is plural again, the sentence referred to brothers rather than, than girlfriends, so we have my girlfriend's brothers are at her class too. So this means that um, the brothers are in the class of my girlfriend. When, when Millet's children is plural, so the answer is are. Uh, sorry for the mispresentation. How often Juliet's brother, singular, is? A and B are possibilities, C and D are not correct. So we have how often is Juliet's brother near the lake during her morning trip? No. How often is Juliet's brother near the lake during his morning trip? Her is for female and his is for male. So our answer is B. In, in seven, when Sally and Tom plural are, where are Sally and Tom in the grammar lesson? Or where are Sally and Tom to the grammar lesson? Actually, the, the correct answer is D. After all, what, sorry, what blank Sally's blank to your proposal. Sally's uh, will need a, a name, a thing, or a subject after it. Let's see. We need to keep the gender, the number, and the coherence. In this case, is and questions is not correct because is is singular, questions is plural. Okay, so following this line of thinking, of thought, a and B and C are incorrect. D and E might be, but B is the infinitive form of the verb to be, so the correct answer is R, because after all, what are Sally's answers to your proposal? Okay, we are talking in plural of answers. It is half past eight. Why? Again, he will need the third person singular, so C, D, and E are not correct. Why is he still at home if his work starts at eight? In home is not correct, so our answer is A. How often your girlfriend and her sister? Again, plural, so we need a plural form, B and D. With you on weekends might be correct, to you on weekends is not correct, so our answer is B. Okay, we have modal verbs. The subject, the modal plus the infinitive. Remember that the modals are followed by infinitives, the infinitive form of verbs. Somebody called them also the simple form. Okay. Um, models are can, may, must, ought to, might, modal verbs. Modal auxiliaries are will, would, shall, should. Okay, let's continue. Are you, etc., with modal plus the infinitive? For example, can speak English. Can is the modal, speak is the infinitive form, and English is the object or the complement. Actually, is an object that is the complement. Because English is the, the object of the action of the verb. Speak English. Speak 
What to speak? What to speak? English. Okay, so let's go to some examples. They can stay at his house this week. We have they, the subject, the model can, the verb stay and the complement that gives more information about the, the topic of the sentence. She may leave earlier than expected. May is the modal and the verb is leave. Remember, leave is the infinitive form. When we have to use adverbs, we need to put them before the modal. Okay, you sometimes must work late on Friday. Sometimes the adverb, modal, must, verb, work. We never can understand our phys physics lectures. Never is the adverb, the modal is can, and the verb is understand. So, please remember that the verb goes in the infinitive, the modal will have only one form in the present simple, and the adverb is never. We always ought to study in the morning before classes. Okay, how to is a very particular verb that needs the particle to to form a correct or adequate sentences in the present tense. How to is a verb that in some cases is not being much used, but you may find them, those two words, how to, in some academic or very uh, advanced English uh, texts. Okay, remember how to will always go. To goes before the other verb. Okay, in the negative we have the modal followed by the particle not, and this, the following verb does not change. It continues going in the infinitive. My not and the infinitive, for example. Might is the modal, not is the particle, the negative particle, and the infinitive. Examples, or one example could be, might not earn a good salary. The informal form of this is, might earn a good salary. Another example is, may not like some bathing, but um, the contracted form is not much used, actually, or uh, I haven't seen it, so magnet is the contracted form that, as I said, is not much used lately. Like is the f uh, simple, the infinitive form of the verb. Okay, sambathin is another verb, and it uh, is in the ing form that corresponds. Okay, can is... Um, very particular form of models and it needs normally with the particle not attached without any space between can and not. I cannot, as it is written on the screen, have lunch at home. Okay? So remember, the subject is I, the Model and the negative particle cannot, in this case, no space between them. And the infinitive of the verb, in this case, is have. And finally, the complement or the object. Another example is without to. I ought to, ought not to, oversleep on Monday afternoons. I ought not to oversleep on Monday afternoons. Out not to is the modal and the negative particle, the verb is oversleep, and everything else is the complement. Okay. Uh, remember, modals are always placed before another verb. Out not to is placed before the verb oversleep, and not is just after the modal. In all the cases, the particle not goes just after after the model. Cannot the verb, may not the verb, might not the verb, out not the verb. These are simple negative. As we said, cannot speak Chinese, may not play chess, might not cook pizza, out not to chat in class. The verb after the model goes in infinitive. Examples we have, they cannot always arrive early on Mondays. I mentioned before, that cannot needs to be together with not. 
but in some cases, and um, particularly in very advanced English, um, uh, written English, you will find this cannot separate it, but is not much used lately. Can't is the contracted form. Um, the adverb is always arrive as the infinitive and the complement early on Mondays. In the following examples, we have the same pattern, the same structure. May not and contracted mayn't, out not to and contracted out no, uh, uh, sorry, out to, out to is not very much used also. Mustn't is more common than the others and can't is the most common. Okay, uh, always ever and uh, always ever again are the adverbs, the verb are arrive, understand, believe, smoke, infinitive forms and complements are the corresponding we have on the screen. For simple information questions with question words, we have the question words at the beginning, the modals in the second place, the subject comes after and the verb in the infinitive form follows them. Why must you or they work? Or when might uh, he, she or it lose? Okay, the presentation here does not mean that must will always go with you with they. No, it's just an example and you can use must with any of them, with I, with you, with they, or with he or she or it, whatever. And the same with can and might. So you can use any person with the modal only form in the present simple. Where can I find a new tire? Why must you, we, or they be so late on Friday? When might he, she, or it get her visa? Okay, remember the models will have only one form in the present symbol, and the following verb is always in the simple form or the infinitive form. Okay. Examples. Sally and Tom. Sally and Tom plural, but the model needs to be in the only form. Can is the only form in this case, so uh, B and D are not correct, and can is not followed by the particle too, so our answer is C. Sally. Again, the only form is can. B is not correct. The modal verb is followed by the simple form. So A is followed by the simple form, C is not, and D is not also followed by to study. So the answer is A. Only one form of the modal verb for singular and plural. Okay. My father can leave home at eight o'clock in the morning. Yes, can is the form, the only form in the present simple for the verb, for this modal verb. Leave is the infinitive and can's and leaves are not used in this case. Okay. My dear friend, again, can's is not correct. Sense is also not correct. So can sen is the answer. Can is the modal in the simple form, in the only form actually, and sen is the infinitive of the verb. The verb that follows the modal is always in the simple form. That's why we didn't choose C and D. When must is not correct, must is correct. So A, C and D are not correct. But let's see. When must Millet speak English at work? Okay, speak is a simple form and the obvious answer is B. 
Number six, where and the form is the modal. Modals do not use auxiliaries, so C and D are not correct. Also, the modal is followed by a simple form without the particle to. Only out to is followed by to, redundantly speaking. So our answer is B. As I said, modals do not need auxiliaries. Number seven, when, and remember, in this case we have out, out needs the particle to. When you have a question using out, out in some way is moved from the original place to the uh, to a place before the subject. So in this case, I, A and C are possibilities. A is not correct because there's no two in the, in the sentence, so out, Sally and Tom, to study. Okay, the particle to remains in the place it goes in an affirmative sentence before the infinitive or the simple form of the other verb. Okay. After all, where, again, we need a simple form, the only form of the modal. In this case, may is the simple or only form. B is not correct, so we not look at it. May does not need the particle to. So C is also incorrect. We have B and D. But, as we said, uh, sorry, we have A. As we said, the modal needs to be followed by the infinitive. And the infinitive form in this case is B. B and C are not options. Out to is the form of the verb in affirmative. In interrogative, to remains before the main verb. Okay. Let's continue. Why? Again, can is the only form. So B and C are not correct. The adverb will go after the subject and before the modal and the main verb in the affirmative. As for the interrogative, we are taking the modal and put it, putting it before the subject usually keeps being after the subject and before the verb. So usually arrives is not correct because the verb is not in the infinitive and D has a correct form. Our answer is D. How often? Again, can is the only form, so C and D are not correct. We don't choose C and D. And we need the adverb before the second verb. Obviously, our answer is A. Adverbs, adverbs are placed after the model. Okay? Thank you.